Typhon Wallet's gotten a lot of attention lately for its power user features that are built right into the app. So today, let's take a look at the top five best features and we can level up together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today, let's take another look at the Typhon Wallet. So after I finished getting my Typhon Wallet all set up, I kept playing around with it and just kept coming across all these really cool features just over and over again. And I thought, you know what? We should probably put together a dedicated video where we can show you just five of the best features that I've come across on Typhon Wallet. We'll start from some that are like really straightforward and kind of right in front of you there, but stick around till the end. Some of the pro features at the end are really, really cool and I think are completely unique to Typhon in the Cardano ecosystem. So let's go ahead and jump in. And the first one is a full end-to-end -end ADA handle integration. So we can see at a glance without even leaving the home page that this wallet that we're looking at has the ADA handle for Woodland Pools. If I come to our assets here, I can see that this wallet it has both Woodland Pools and Woodland ADA handles in it. And if I want, I can actually come here and change which one I want to reflect as the ADA handle for this wallet. There's a nice way that I can choose my preference on how I want to visualize it. So then from there, if you want to send from this wallet to another wallet that has an ADA handle, let's say for example, I wanted to send 100 ADA from this Woodland Pools Ledger Nano X and I wanted to send it to our Aspen wallet that has our pledge for the Aspen pool. If I didn't have that address handy or I don't have that wallet pulled up, I'd have to do something like come to pool.pm, click on the owner wallet, and then from there I would grab this stake address, come to Cardano scan, paste it in, click on view all addresses, and then now here I can see the address that corresponds to that wallet, right? I could do that, come over here, and paste this in. But instead, since our Aspen pledge wallet has the Aspen ADA handle in it, instead of doing this, we can see the address here that ends in M6R4. I can just do it to dollar sign Aspen instead. And when I click on send, we can see here the same address that corresponds to M6R4 for the resolved and confirmed Aspen ADA handle. So that's pretty cool. But let's say I also wanted to send some non ADA assets from this wallet to the other one. So let's see some of the assets we have in this wallet. And actually, as that loads up, it brings up another point that I wanted to point out and we'll have this as sort of like a bonus feature. Did you see how fast these assets pulled up? So watch, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna refresh the page so we're starting from scratch. And now once the app has loaded up, I'm gonna click on assets. Look at how fast that loaded up. There was no editing there. This is the kind of power of the Strika team that's behind Typhon Wallet that's been around and doing Cardano infrastructural stuff for so long that these guys have developed really good relationships across the board. And they are actually partnered with JPEG Store and using JPEG Store CDN. And so when you load up your assets, look at that. I just refreshed, look at that. Look at how fast that just pulled up. Anyway, so I just think that's really cool. Fun little extra feature. Anyway, so let's say we are here and we want to send 100 ADA to Aspen, and we also want to send one of our book token books. Now, if you notice here, I don't have to choose just one asset. I can actually send multiple assets of different denominations all in the same transaction. This is the power of the extended UTXO model that the Typhon Wallet team has really heavily leveraged here. So for example, I can send over to our Aspen Wallet one of our Frankenstein books. I can send some World Mobile tokens. We have a total of 200 in this wallet. I could just send 50 of them. We'll add that as well. Uh, let's add a Dracula here and let's add a Moby Dick book as well. So when we add all of this, we can see here we have four tokens in this transaction and we go ahead and click on send. We can see that in the same single transaction, we are sending 100 ADA, 50 world mobile tokens and three different NFTs all in one transaction to the same address. Really cool stuff. And the last two features that we're gonna show are gonna continue building on some of the really cool complexities that we can do with our transactions. But I wanna take a sidestep here for a second and show a different feature that's not obvious at all, that's kind of like a hidden feature that I think is really cool. We showed in a previous video how you can come and add multiple accounts to your wallet and use those to delegate to multiple pools. But one thing that I think is completely unique to Typhon Wallet is that with the accounts here, you're not limited to just the ones that are shown. For example, I don't have to just choose from accounts number one through five. And even then, if I come to add account, I'm not even restricted to choosing between accounts one through 10. The Typhon wallet allows you to access an account at the index of your choice. And if we want to access a larger index, we can use the pro option below. So here's actually something that's really cool that you can do as like a security feature of your wallet if you want to be more discreet about your funds. So for example, let's say we have our Ledger hardware wallet and let's say you have a lot of ADA in it and you want to split that ADA between different accounts accounts and delegate to multiple pools, but also you don't necessarily want it to be totally obvious how much funds reside in that wallet. What you can do here is come to this pro flag and then here for account numbers, you can choose an arbitrary account number. So this address path here is a zero based index. So the count starts at zero. So for example, this address path of the account slash one would be account number two. So slash two would be account number three. So just keep in mind that offset. But that little nuance aside, the power here is that you can choose an arbitrary account number that nobody would even necessarily know that you had funds in. 
So for example, let's say I'll do a slash 999 that'll correspond to account number 1000. So let's go ahead and unlock that account number. So I'm gonna click on unlock. I need to confirm this on my device. So I'm gonna confirm. And now I see that I've got here my accounts, one, two, three, four, five, and account 1000. So for account 1000, here is its receive address. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Let's come back to account one. This is our Woodland Pools account. I'm gonna paste in this receive address. So as an example, let's just send 10 ADA. So I'm gonna click on send. So here's our amount, our fees, where we're sending it to. Let's go ahead and confirm. And I'm going to confirm on the device. Okay, cool, so our transaction is successfully posted to the blockchain. So let's come to account 1000. So now our ledger's account 1000 now has this 10 ADA in it. And this can be an arbitrary amount. Let's say we sent a million ADA over to this address. Okay, now let's log out of this account and let's delete this account entirely. All right, we're gonna remove this wallet, yes. All right, so now, so let's say somebody comes at you with a $5 wrench attack and they force you to show the contents of your ledger. So you'd say, okay, that's fine. Let me show you what I've got in this wallet. I'll come to connect, connect with ledger, single address wallet, confirm. And so now when your wallet pulls up, the only thing that is shown for this wallet is those default accounts one through five. There's no indication here that you even have an account number 1000. There's nowhere that you could even see. Even if we copy the address for the first account and come to Cardano scan and click on view all addresses, there's no easy way to see all the different accounts that correspond to this wallet. So nobody would even know that account 1000 existed, but you do. So then once you're settled and you're in a safe situation, you can come to add account, do the same thing you did before, slash 999 for account 1000, unlock it, confirm on the device, and here we go. There is our account 1000 with the 10 ADA in it or your million ADA that you sent, and you are the only one that ever even knew that this account existed. Now, of course, this is a double-edged sword. The reason why we call these power features is because it does imply a certain amount of responsibility on yourself. If you make some arbitrary account number and then forget what that account number is, that same security through obscurity that you were relying on in case somebody forces you to show you that wallet is the same thing that's gonna keep you from finding that account again if you forget what the number was. So only do this if you're very confident in your abilities to do this kind of thing and remember what the account number is. But I wanted to point that out. Really, really cool security feature. I don't think any other wallet right now has the ability to do this. But anyway, let's get this 10 ADA off of our account 1000 and that'll give us a really good opportunity to look at power user features Feature number four, which is pending transactions and the power that unlocks to then be able to do chained transactions. So let me show you what I mean. This works between any addresses, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to do it between our different accounts, but you could do this for any addresses on the Cardano blockchain. Let's go ahead and come to account number three. Let's copy this address and let's come back to account 1000. Now I am going to send to that account number three. I wanna set the max amount of ADA that I can send. I'm gonna send this 10 ADA, okay? I'm gonna click on send. Okay, I see that we're actually gonna send nine and change with our fee, so let's go ahead and confirm. I'm gonna confirm on the device. So now, once this goes through, the way that transactions on the blockchain work is that before they actually get put onto the blockchain, they get broadcasted out to what's called the mempool. So here where it says pending, we can actually copy this address, and if we come to Cardano scan and paste this in, we can see that this transaction is pending. It's actually sitting inside of the mempool right now. The way that this works is when a transaction is going from a wallet and it's being sent to the network, it first gets broadcasted out to the memory pool. So in the mempool, you have all of these transactions that have been broadcasted by the different wallets that are waiting to make it into a block. But the thing is that during that time that it's just sitting there waiting to make it into a block, you still have access to be able to view that information even if it hasn't yet made it into that block. So the fact that the Typhon wallet team is the same team that builds out Cardano scan gives a really tight integration here where there is no gap between when you hit send and when you have access to be able to start viewing your transaction in real time. The Typhon wallet scans the mempool the same way that Cardano scan does so you can immediately have access to where your transaction is and see where it is in the process but it's even cooler than that because if we come for example to account number three the concept of the wallet being aware of these pending transactions that are not yet on the chain gives it the ability to be able to make intelligent decisions about balances and consecutive chained transactions without having to wait for the final confirmation on the blockchain for example you've probably seen in some other wallets that if you try to send several transactions quickly back to back it gives you an error and tells you hold on wait for the first transaction that you initiated to confirm, and then you can send the second. This is part of UTXO management and stuff like that. But with this pending transactions, with this unlocks, is the ability to queue up a bunch of them back to back. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let's say, for example, now from account number three, we want to send some amount of it to account number two. And then let's remember that account number one is our Woodland Pools ADA handle. So if we come to account number three, let's say account number three will send five ADA to account number two. So let's go ahead and send and confirm this. Okay, so that's on its way. And while that is still still pending and the final balance in this wallet is not yet confirmed, we can then also send the remaining balance 
of 4.66 to our Woodland Pools address. And we see here now that both of these are pending back to back and the wallet allows you to do this because of its understanding of this pending state transaction. This is another thing that I think is completely unique to Typhon. I don't know any other wallet that lets you do this right now, but we can do even more than that with pending transactions. So let's come back to this account number three for a second. Let's copy the address of account number three, come back to account number two. So let's go ahead and send back from account two back to account three, the five ADA that we got. And let's take a look at what some of the other things that we can do with these pending transactions. So let's go ahead and send it, confirm. Okay, so we see here on account two, the outbound is pending. But if we come to account three, look how cool this is. Because of the fact that the wallet is constantly scanning the mempool, account three already knows that it's about to have 4.83 ADA coming in. And this is the coolest part. We can now send out, we can now queue up a transaction to send out this balance to our Woodland Pools address, all of this before the transaction even arrived. How cool is that? So account three right now is pending to receive 4.83 ADA. And then since the wallet already knows about it, it's already now queued up another transaction to then be able to send that balance that it's getting in right back out again. And we don't need to wait for any of this stuff to like be like a long serialized process because we're already inspecting the mempool so we know the sequence of transactions that are going to happen. This is so Cool. If we click on refresh, cool. And so yeah, so there we go. So we see the finality was exactly what we expected when we were dealing with the pending transactions. So in this example, we were just sending back and forth between our accounts, but you can very easily start envisioning how this kind of a feature cascaded across the Cardano ecosystem. If more and more people are using wallets that have this functionality could dramatically reduce transaction times. If Bob is sending 10 ADA to Alice and then Alice is sending five of that ADA to Charlie, and then Charlie is sending two of that ADA to Doug, you could theoretically have all four of those transactions queued up within seconds of each other before any of them have posted to the blockchain. The implications of this for scaling is absolutely huge. And with that last, but definitely not least, my absolute favorite feature of Typhon Wallet that I have not seen anywhere else before is the ability to send not just multiple tokens, but to be able to send in one transaction to multiple recipients. So check this out. So let's come back to account two. Let's copy this address. And let's initiate a transaction. Let's say we are going from our Woodland Pools address. We want to send to account two. I want to send 10 ADA. And you know what? To bring it all together and bring all the features together, let's send to that address 10 ADA. And let's go ahead and also send it a Frankenstein book. So we'll go ahead and add that. Now, here's where it gets really cool. We can also now just add more recipients. We see here our first recipient is our address number two, which is getting our 10 ADA and our Frankenstein book. But now we click on add recipient and we can also add our Aspen ADA handle and we can send it five ADA. And let's say on top of that, we wanted to send Hosky for being a very good boy, one ADA. And let's say we also wanted to send the Cardano scan folks a tip as well. When we click on send, we can see here that in this single transaction, we are sending some ADA and some other assets to four different recipients, three of them with ADA handles, one of them with the address pasted in. I mean, this is the kind of strength of the extended UTXO model that we hear about all the time in Cardano. And it feels like the Typhon wallet team is the first wallet that is really taking advantage of it. This is absolutely incredible that you can do this without any kind of advanced programming or anything like that, that it is natively built into your wallet. You could see how an individual user in one transaction could send funds to multiple different friends or family. You could see how somebody is running a project or a giveaway or minting some kind of assets. Well, you could send a whole batch of them to people in your community all in one transaction and pay just a single transaction fee. This is absolutely mind blowing. And I just thought it was the coolest thing the first time that I saw it. So those are my top five, but I'm sure there's a bunch of other really cool features built in here that I haven't come across yet. If you've been using Typhon for a while and you've seen some other power features that I should know about, let us know in the comments down below. and We'll make a follow up video. Let us know your favorite parts about the Typhon wallet. And if nothing else, we'll see you in the next video.